Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new week of Road to TCG Worlds 2016. US Nationals just happened. Um, I believe Nightmarch Vespiquin won in the Masters Division. Second place Seismito Giratina, which was really surprising, to be honest. And in the top four, my good friend Paul Johnston um, got third place with the Water Toolbox deck. And Liam Williamson got top four as well with this Darkrai Giratina deck that you have in front of you. Now, a lot of hype surrounding this deck in the last few weeks and over the internet because of Origins and I got a lot of requests for me to do this deck. So he opted to use a Hydreigon EX version instead of using Garbodor to partner off with these guys. Um, I guess he didn't expect Greninja to be really popular or he felt confident in the Greninja matchup and Hydreigon EX is not only good for its ability by allowing you to retreat your Giratina EX more easily with its ability Dragon Road and also with Shred you can bypass the Jolteon EX's um, attack, you can bypass Regiice's attack so definitely really nice really nice option for this deck um, definitely one I was considering for when I was um, preparing for my national tournament and it worked for Will for Liam clearly because he got top 4 now as main attackers we have 2 Dark Ray X which I'm really surprised he only has 2 um, I, 2 Giratina EX as it combines really well with Starcry as you can attach the double dragon energies effectively adding 40 damage to whatever Darkrai is doing and basically um I don't know I mean only three only two Darkrai seems a bit um shaky or prone to liability now I did get the list the deck list off of the official pokemon.com site so I'm trusting that's right if it isn't then I apologize but this will be the list I will be using throughout the week now as far as support pokemon he has one Ladio ZX uh, along with one muscle band in order to try and get some easy KOs with fast rate could potentially get some dunks and we'll see if we can work that out throughout the week then he also has one Eveltal, really nice um, high HP attacker, can also potentially power up your Darkrai to do more damage throughout the game or help you recover in a difficult position along with being like a 7th prize card because it's not an EX. And then we have one Hoopa to find all your EX Pokemon and two Shaman EX which all three of those are not really good starters but I'm sure we'll be able to manage. Now we have the standard for Sycamore. 3N instead of 2, so one more N than regular. Then we have 2 Lysander, really nice choice. Um, one Hex Maniac in order to, I guess, help against the Greninja matchup and other problematic things such as Vileplume maybe. One AC to help retreat and help um, prevent KOs for your opponent. And then we have the 4 Verse Seekers, we have the 4 Ultra Ball, we have the 3 Trainers Mail, all of which are very standard. 4 Max Elixir, which are what really makes this deck shine, along with a healthy 10 basic darkness energy count. And then, very interestingly, he ran 2 Enhanced Hammer. Now, this seems really good for the mirror match, this seems, in theory, really good against Seismito Giratina, but he ended up losing against that deck, so maybe the Quaking Punch item lock was too much for him to deal with. Um, one Startling Megaphone, definitely really nice to remove Float Stones and Fighting Fury Belt of which he only runs one, which is also really surprising because a Fighting Fury Belt Darkrai or a Fighting Fury Belt Giratina is really hard to take down. Um, one Muscle Band, this adds up or makes the math work a little bit nicer with Darkrai sometimes, also with Giratina potentially, and allows you to get that turn one dunk with Latios. And then he has two Floatstone in order to retreat and two Parallel City. Now, I really like Parallel City. I think it's a really strong stadium and an underused one as of right now. But there's not something like really clear, I guess, besides this deck that can really make the best use out of it. And then finally, we have four Double Dragon Energy, of course, to power up our Dragon type attackers and also to uh, increase Darkrai's damage output. And we have 10 Darkness Basic Energy because 
you really never ever ever want to miss an attachment with this deck so that pretty much covers the deck list so let's go right away and try out this top four us nationals deck now hopefully we can do well with it this week huge props to liam but about or huge props to liam for doing so well at us nationals thousand a hundred person tournament is it is that the biggest per, is that the biggest tournament in tcg history probably but this is a bit worrisome i guess i did see fighting type for my opponent so he might be running eveltal galade that would be my bet he also has a eveltal thieves and an eveltal deck box so probably running eveltal galade now we have to be really careful with that galade um Starting Giratina is not ideal, going second is not ideal, but with some luck we could potentially get a strong attack off with, a fir with our first Dark Cry. Now Zoroark is also an issue potentially because our bench will almost always be full, so Zoroark will be doing max damage. And yeah, my opponent is using acrobikes and probably Battle Compressors and everything, so he will most likely be be running that Galate line. Now he did attach a DCE, so Enhanced Hammer could be really good for us in this match. And my opponent simply passes without playing a supporter. Okay. So if we find a way to retreat Giratina, most likely through Floatstone, we could be able to get an, a nice attack first turn attack off here or by going for the um, for the high dragon and finding a stadium we could also potentially retreat and attack with two max elixirs if we hit them both but that seems a lot less likely so I'm gonna bench all of those now I'm gonna play or should I yeah I'm gonna play the max elixir I do hit an energy thankfully which I will attach to a dark cry then I'm gonna attach another energy to dark cry so I'm pretty much hoping to hit a float stone or maybe AC but the AC seems very unlikely I do hit a stadium um, I'm gonna wait to see first what I get off of the trainer's mail okay so I get a max elixir now that's really nice um, this means I could have retreated the Giratina and we do hit another energy, so we're off to a pretty nice start. I'm not gonna lie, we're off to a pretty nice start. Now, the stadium, I guess I could use it right away to discard my Shaman and my Hoopa, which I think is a better play here. Um, no need to limit his bench, or is there? This, I guess Sorarg is scary though. But he's still gonna do it KO me anyways. Yeah, so I'm gonna limit his bench instead. And then I'm gonna Ultra Ball to try and find or to get rid of something that will not be useful such as Latios. Um, Latios, is, Latios is usefulness is now pretty much over. We're not gonna attack our opponent so might as well get it out of the deck and make it thinner by one card. Now we even find the Floatstone. And another Max Elixir, so <laughs> not gonna lie, this is probably one of the absolute best starts you could hope for with this deck. Definitely one of the best starts. Potential issue now is the fact that um gonna deal a ton of damage, a hundred damage. So we're gonna do it KO this Eveltal for sure. But one issue here is the fact that we have so many energy in our hand, our second stadium. But we only have a Sycamore's draw. So that means that I really cannot afford to discard this many energy. And as I was saying, having two Darkrai EX seems really nice. Or rather, it doesn't seem really nice. It seems like running a third one would be nice because he's going to attack me. And he's gonna leave me in Zoroark range, that's for sure. Well, he actually opts to Evil Ball instead of conserving the resources, so I'm not gonna complain about that. Another energy, which means we will not be using Sycamore this turn. I cannot afford to get rid of that many energy. And we don't need anything like 
so immediately, especially after seeing my opponent's not ideal start. So, wow, tool troubles. So, yeah, um, pretty good start, but mm, having so much energy in our hand, okay, so we get the victory. But that's mostly because my opponent didn't have a really good hand. Um, definitely could have struggled a bit more there. Because with Kalate, with the potential of Kalate, with the potential of Zoroark, um, those are two non-EX attackers, which this deck really doesn't like facing because they both deal a ton of damage to you. So if my opponent had gotten a decent start, I think... Um, despite our really amazing start, we would have had an issue winning that matchup. Maybe a strategy you can do there is focus on Giratina instead, because Giratina is not weak to Kalade, and you can lock out um, DCEs out of the game, so that would definitely be useful. But if LTLEX with only 2 Darkness Energy would deal a ton of damage to you. Now, my opponent is going first. I'm not gonna start Hoopa, so even though Latios will not be useful here, unless my opponent starts a basic Pokemon, a low HP basic Pokemon, and simply passes, um, I definitely do not want to start Hoopa. Now, uh, our hand was pretty nice, not gonna lie. Our hand was really, really nice. Especially because I, if I get Hydreigon, Latios EX retreats for free. So that's something really nice. Now, my hand is not ideal because I do hit a Max Elixir, but I do not have anything to attach the Max Elixir to. Yeah, our hand in the pre before the end was truly, truly amazing. Now, facing off against a Mega Alakazam EX deck, we don't know what else he's running, so it'll be interesting to see. But um, Giratina could be really useful here, <laughs> speaking of. So, seeing this, um, I'm going to focus on powering up Giratina by whiff the first Max Elixir, which is not ideal. Um, my Enhanced Hammer is completely useless. going to play the Parallel City, I guess, limit my opponent's bench this way. And then, I'm going to attach the Floatstone to the Latios, and I'm going to Shaman. Now the float zone means I do not need to bench high dragon, and I do have dark cry for for quick damage output, and I do have Giratina for um, protection. So for protection from the mega. So I'm gonna give up on Hoopa. I'm gonna find the other dark cry, and I'm gonna Sycamore for a clean seven because if I can find a max elixir once again. I can definitely start attacking. No max elixir, but I do hit a trainer's mail. So can I get a max elixir there? No. So now I do not have such a good hand. I'm gonna keep the floatstone. So I don't think Lysander will be really useful. Floatstone could be useful for sure. And to Sam, no. <laughs> Table one, another YouTube channel. Um, Tio Sam is a Brazilian TCG channel, and so, what do I do here? I don't think I can do anything. No, <laughs> I don't want to concede. I just want to end my turn. So, no energy acceleration for us this time around. Um, hopefully, he doesn't find the Spirit Link. Another reason to focus on Giratina is that. Alexam EX doesn't do too much damage and Giratina gets protection from the Mega Alakazam. He also prevents the Spirit Link, so if he wants to Mega Evolve, he loses his turn if he didn't have the Spirit Link beforehand. Huh. And he finds a Dimensional Valley. Not too relevant, he already attached some energy there. But he does free up bench space for himself. So now, there's the Spirit Link on the benched Alakazam, which is interesting. It's gonna Kinesis, 
onto the active and onto Darkrai, yep, because that's what I attach the energy to. So, once again, I'm not too, too worried, because if I can power up Giratina, like, I might actually simply attach and pass this next turn. I don't see any reason not to. And wow, okay, so he flips heads. He's gonna get another Mega Laxam on the active. And he's gonna be... Yep, he's gonna KO exactly. He's gonna deal 130 damage, I believe. Wow. Now we're in trouble. Now we are definitely in big trouble. 130 damage exactly. Yep, so he gets a clean KO on two Latios. Gets ahead on two prizes and... We do not have a really good hand to go off of on this turn. Um, you can see how the energy, the high energy count is really nice, but might also be hurting us a little bit. So I'm gonna attach that double dragon energy to Giratina. I'm gonna bench the other Giratina, I guess. And I could Shaman and then N, or I can N. Which I think that's a better choice. Um, Shaman could be saved for a better spot later on in the game. Drawing two cards is not doesn't give us like two good odds of hitting a max elixir, which I was generally hoping to get. But now I do find Shaman once again. So now I'm gonna draw three extra cards. Our deck is a bit thinner. If we hit a max elixir and we hit an energy off of the max elixir there it is we might be in a good position we will be sacrificing um our dark cry dark cry is definitely now ko'd but giratina ex afterwards should be able to clean up it really should be able to clean up and after my opponent ko's me we can definitely end him down to one card or two cards rather and get ahead that way so, or rather lock him, so lock him out of special energy, lock him out of playing any more stadiums. So if we find our second stadium, we could be good there. And also um, preventing any damage really dealt to Giratina. And if we do not attach any energy to any other Pokemon, we do KO Alakazami Excess and he only places three damage counters. So should be in a pretty good position afterwards. The biggest issue would be him using Lysander. That would definitely be the biggest issue for us. And KOing something on the bench. So after we end, we definitely want to find AC to pick up Shamans at least. So it's gonna be a tight finish. It's gonna come down to how well does he draw after the ends. And how many damage counters he can place. Now he flips Tails on the Super Scoop up, which makes me happy because otherwise we would have been in a bit of trouble there um, he's gonna verse seeker for sycamore now another issue is now his deck is not too big after this sycamore um, he got rid of energy which is good but after this sycamore he doesn't have or rather his deck is still like it's decently big decently small so the end might hurt him but not necessarily too, too much. Evolving into that Mega Alakazam is really nice for us. He goes after the Dark Rai, so maybe he hasn't identified the fact that he's, it's gonna come down to can he find a Lysander or can I pick up my Shamans before he finds a Lysander. But um, that's our strategy. Now, I guess we still do have to find the Double Dragon Energy though. So maybe the end will have to wait. Maybe the end will have to wait. Okay, he gets rid of AC, Skyla, and something else. He even runs Devolution Spray. So maybe simply through placing damage counters, we could be in trouble. But we'll see. If I do not find the double dragon energy, then I'll be in a lot of trouble. That's when I'll be in a lot, a lot of trouble. Or a double, or a max elixir. How many have we played? Two. So we still have two left in the deck. KO's the active dark cry. Goes down to two prices. So definitely need the double dragon energy though. 
and we hit a darkness. So odds of hitting the double dragon energy are not too great. But I still have to end my opponent. He has a Mega Lakazam on his in his hand. Um yeah, we have to find it. We really have to find it off of the six cards. And we do. Wow, we even find the max elixir as well. We do not have too good a follow-up after I take these two prizes. And like I said, I do not need to attach any more energy just yet. Because um I do not want Alakazam damaging any Pokemon other than my active. <laughs> Two Ultra Volts once again, just like last game. So let me let my opponent know. You'll be on tomorrow's video. <laughs> so this game is really nice to feature. He finds a Shaman. That's not nice for us. That's definitely not good for us. Um, it's gonna come down to can he find Lysander. He's already played one or discarded one and three verse seekers. So this player can't play Pokemon tool cards, this player can't play special energy cards and this player can't play stadium cards. Another thing I could find instead of my AC could be the um, the parallel city and limit my own bench now is he going to mega evolve well uh, he can mega evolve play some counters and then retreat for free and it's gonna come down to lysander like i was saying yep he recognizes now he it's gonna come down to his either second lysander or damage counter placement or um or or what wow he doesn't opt to attack with all like a sammy x which is weird now what's my opponent's last card in hand it's something important to consider as well um now do i attach energy to anyone i guess no giratina ah oh, this is difficult should I attach energy to anyone? Now, after... Well... Huh. How many Verse Seekers have I played? Two. And I have a Lysander in my hand. So... There's two things I can do. I can Lysander KO Shaman and try to win that way. Or... I can try to KO Mega Lakazam and then try to win that way but okay i do have a c there's an arsicomore trainer's mail hex maniac n verse seeker okay everyone has one card in his hand the issue is ah uh, do i play the max elixir do i attach energy to anyone my brain didn't attack so maybe if i get enough energy onto dark cry uh, in order to one it KO something, I generally do not know what to do because he can retreat the Mega Lakasami X, right? So, do I take two prize cards? Yeah, gonna put myself down to a position where I'm down to a verse seeker KO as well with KO's wheel. Um, if not for that, it's still gonna be three attacks, but at least I give myself more options or. Maybe at some point I can potentially, by hitting an energy through Max Elixir, attaching, maybe Darkrai can one hit KO something. Um, he has two cards in hand now. What did he top deck? Ugh, Omega Alakazam. It's not good. Now he cannot touch Giratina, but it's gonna come down to his top deck. He, yeah, he's, he's going for the Lysander play. He recognizes the Lysander play is his win condition. Now, by removing the special energy, I believe I should be safe here. I really believe I should be safe. We're with the Max Elixir. Um, how much damage is... Is Darkrai doing right now? Two, four, six, eight, 
eight. Yeah, because I cannot retreat without um yeah that in. <laughs> yeah, I needed I needed that to hurt you. So unless my opponent top takes something huge, this should be game. Um, we played to our win condition and Giratina was simply too much for him to deal with. Yep, GG man. GG. Hope you watch tomorrow. And because you definitely put me in a really tight spot at some point. And yeah, Giratina KOs will for the KO. GG Denseu. And well, that's our second win of the day. I'm gonna play another match because the first game was really was over really really quickly and I generally enjoy using this deck. Like I told you guys, if you watched my report, my world's report, or not world's report, nationals report, or if you watched, um, or if you've been hearing me talk on Facebook or whatever, um, I did consider Dark Ray Giratina for nationals. It was my second choice of deck. And I ended up opting for Greninja Break, but I definitely can recognize how good this deck can be. Um, it's very versatile, it can adapt to different situations, it has the dark type which almost means an auto win against Trevenant, especially because of the healthy amount of, of item cards you run. And we are going second for the third time in a row, so that's not great. The question is, do I bench the other Hydreigon? Because my opponent could potentially end me, but nah, I don't think it's worth it. Oh, Rangy Eyes, okay. So definitely gonna bench the the high dragon, and it seems like it's a vile plume locking deck. So if my opponent um, finds a turn one vile plume, which he didn't, um, okay. So now everything changes. High dragon became the absolute key player for this match. Um, huh. I. I'm gonna keep the second one because my opponent didn't do anything. So maybe his hand is really bad, so I'm gonna choose not to win. Gonna play the Max Elixir, I do it an energy. So if I find a stadium and a DDE, I could attack right now. But that seems a bit aggressive. That seems really aggressive at the moment. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna attach to a dragon. Um, I only run two stadiums, so lots of that are not too great. I could have also drawn a float stone, but I do not even get the double dragon energy. And I do not even get a dark cry. If this Giratina were a dark cry, I'd be really happy right now. <laughs> but it's not. But because of vi the Vile Plume threat, um, two out of two max elixirs, or three out of three rather, that's really, really nice gonna shame any X here because I want to go through as many cards or as many item cards as I can. You never know what your opponent might be using. I find another Max Elixir and wow, I find the Stadium even. So I'm gonna keep the Stadium in my hand. Do I use the Max Elixir? I guess. Um, wow, and I hit 4 out of 4. So you can see, even though I have 2 energy in my hand, you can see how important running 4 of those is. Now, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna pass for now. Um, I got a really six turn. I have six energy in play right now. Wow, six energy in play. That's really sick. Now, let's see what my opponent does here. He had the DCE, okay, so maybe he had a Sycamore and he didn't want to get rid of the DCE. He has an Ultra Bolt, maybe he top decked that, and he's gonna find Shaman right now. But as long as we find a double dragon energy next turn through the stadium, through Shaman, and through um, and through the Sycamore, we should be okay. Now Lugia is a bit scary though. Lugia is definitely a bit scary. And I might place the stadium to reduce the damage that Regia is does instead of um, instead of limiting my opponent's bench. He hasn't played down a forest, a giant, a forest of giant plants yet either. So we might even get another turn of item cards. 
We might even get another turn of item cards. He whips two trainer's mails. That's really unlucky for him. It's really unlucky. Or maybe he chose not to grab anything so that he could shame in for more cards. It's also a possibility. And without talking to my opponent, we really will never know. <laughs> Here's another trainer's mail. So just as he draws trainer's mails, we drew max elixirs. We drew all four on our first turn, and we actually hit all four on our first turn. And the more you hit, the less likely it becomes that, that the next one hits, because you have less energy in your deck. But we got really lucky. Um, RNG favored us this time. But yeah, so far we generally cannot afford to not get an energy, a double drawn energy this turn. Okay. <laughs> There you go. So if I had used Shaman, I would have gotten it, but, um, okay. So do I limit my opponent's damage output? Yeah, I think that's the right play. Um, I'm not gonna have access to Shaman anymore, but that's fine. Huh. Well, he's gonna deal 80. And that's not a big issue because I still do it KO anyways, right? Hmm, okay. I'll leave it like this. Um, 20 less damage is not gonna be too, too relevant. Gonna shame in, trying to find a dark cry. There it is. Okay, and another double dragon energy, that's really nice. Um, I'm not gonna pinch the dark cry because Giratina has free retreat, shaman has a one retreat cost, and this shaman has a one retreat cost, so I do not want to give my opponent the option to to be able to Lysander up Darkrai and buy himself some time that way. Um, could have played the Ultra Ball, but I'm also not in any hurry to do so. He finds the Stadium right away, which I'm completely fine with. Um, he might opt to retreat, but I am completely fine by that. I can simply retreat and conserve my Hydreigon, and I can attack with Giratina, whom will also have retreat, but that energy on Shaman, I would really like it for it to be on Darkrai X, because if we could simply retreat, attach, and KO Lugia with Darkrai, I don't think there could be any way for us to lose the, the game. And okay, so Valplume is, is in now, and he Sycamore's for 7. So he's gonna be able to deal a ton of damage to my Dragon, or rather to my Giratina next turn. But he will not be able to one KO. And both of my high dragons are damaged. This one is definitely in range of Valplume, or rather of Rage Eyes. So maybe. Maybe I should try to buy myself a turn. I mean, what are the odds that he finds Lysander? So I could retreat High Dragon for the Shaman EX, and then Darkrai 2, 4, 6, 8. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, yeah. I think that's a better play. Um, there's no need for me to be go super aggro right now. I'd rather shame any XP damage instead of Giratina. So I'm simply gonna retreat and pass because, okay, he can KO shame any X by attaching another double colorless energy and discarding the stadium. Then Darkrai comes up and gets a KO and he already attached to Rage Eyes, so he's gonna deal 60 damage to Shaman, not a big deal. And... Oh, damn it. Okay, so he did have the Lysander. Oh, and he's gonna get rid of 3 energy. Now that's really bad. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Oh, man, that was absolute worst case scenario and now I don't even have two high dragons abilities in order to save energy by retreating I do get to play hex maniac here though and potentially attach the fighting fury belt to high dragon I think that's my best play here and we're gonna chaos will for now um he's gonna deal a ton of damage shouldn't be able to KO me uh 
unless he attaches another DCE and a muscle band or a fighting fury belt that would be a big problem <laughs> that would be worst case scenario that would be absolute worst case scenario okay so he's shown us um, two DCs left for him um, the issue is I don't know if I can deal with two rage eyes that's the biggest problem right now okay he air balls that's fine well, it's not fine, but it's not ideal either. No more items anymore. Um, wow, I get a Lysander. Okay. So, two, four, six. Okay. This is what I should do. I'm gonna retreat. That top deck was incredibly nice. I'm gonna retreat into Darkrai. Attach an energy and KO this Reggie Ice. That way I remove a threat, a really big threat actually. And then he comes up with Lugia and does a lot of damage. Or he comes up with Regiice and put me in a bad position because I don't have another double dragon energy. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Okay, now taking out Decking my opponent out is also another option. Though he, he did show Shona. Wow, he simply attaches another TCE. Okay. My best play is to KO that Lugia. I could also KO Vileplume. But I don't think that's too important here. Um, if I pass on the opportunity to KO Vileplume, and I will never have any more items ever again. But I think KOing the threatening Lugia EX is more important. And then next turn I can seek a more to try and find the double dragon energy. And I could potentially find one off of my prizes. But no. I find a verse seeker and an energy. Neither of which are really useful. So yeah, it's gonna come down to can I find another double dragon energy? I generally do not know um, if either is prized or not. He picks up Shaman to prevent a KO, I guess. He's gonna resistance Blizzard. And... Okay. So, I can AC. And I'm top decking really useful things. Okay. So, I'm gonna pick up the Darkrai, prevent prizes that way. I'm gonna promote Shaman gonna attach an energy to it and do I even sky return not really I'm just gonna pass and next turn I will use sycamore like I said taking out is definitely a factor to be considered oh okay he lies anders up Lysander's up Giratina. That's his second Lysander. Crap. I mean, if I could find the baby Velta, then that would be nice as well. <laughs> wow, it's like I'm. It's like I have some sort of superpower. Just gonna see him here. A Darkness Energy puts me in an okay position. A Double Dragon Energy puts me in an absolutely incredible position. Although now Mill Tank is an issue. <laughs> Because how many energy do I even have left? How many energy do I even have left here? There's seven in my discard pile. Eight, nine, so I only have one energy left. I can no longer power up a Dark Ray EX. And wow. I'm in a lot of trouble right now. I am in a lot. I am in a lot of trouble here. I cannot let Hydreigon go down. <gasps> I might lose this. I got so ahead in energy, but by not powering up Darkrai. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Can I afford to Sycamore here? I think I have to. 
I generally think I have to. Oh boy. I need to find my last... No. I need to find my last darkness energy, not double dragon energy. I can attach with attack with high dragon. This second energy on Shaman might cost me. Uh oh. I think I'm done for here, guys. And I even have to pay an energy to retreat. Ah, I'm 10 short. But even then, the second uh, male tank simply comes up and cleans house. So I don't think I can win anymore. I generally do not think I can win. The only way I win, okay. <laughs> Man, I'm getting really lucky. Like, generally, really, really lucky. I was about to say, the only way I can win is by attacking twice with the Veltal to power up Dark Ray X. Yes. That is the absolute only way I can win. And I can use Parallel City, although it doesn't really make a difference. And maybe Deck Out will be a factor to consider, so I'm actually not going to, to do that. Gonna let Eveltal go down, um, my opponent will go down to one price, but with the other double dragon energy and by attaching another energy to Darkrai, I should be good here. Unless my opponent has a third Lysander, that would seal the game. So what I'm actually gonna do to prevent- oh! <laughs> okay, I was gonna say that I was going to attach my energy and end my opponent down to two cards. To prevent any weird things happening right now but as long as he doesn't have a third Lysander we should be okay here and I'm gonna end him this next turn okay so he attaches a DC what purpose that serves I do not know he retreats that's fine I still 1k mill tank with dark right and yeah should be good here should be good, really close. And if I had not top decked that energy in that precise moment, I don't think we would have won. Um, we haven't won yet, but I don't think we would have won here. And I'm gonna end, put my opponent down to one card, so deck out is no longer an option for either of us, most likely. And I'm gonna go down to one price, and unless he does something magical we should be able to win this match we should be able to win this match um so yeah gg to jermar zero zero mill tank comes up mill tank attacks yep and we win the match really really close match really really close match and we got really lucky with our top decks but you can see how I literally used every single energy in my deck to try to win this match. Every single energy in our deck we got to use this time around. So wow, really nice match um, against Jermar. Hope you guys are noticing how strong this deck is. Um, it's really fast, it's really consistent. It has late game options, has early game options. So yeah, that's it from me guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. In the Spanish video of Dark Ride Giratina or on Wednesday for more Dark Ride Giratina action. Thank you guys so much and bye bye.